In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a hover card like a pro in Elementor. We're going to be using containers. This is what we're going to be creating. So as you can see, whenever I hover over this card, we have this nice pop-up effect. And we're doing this for all the cards here. That's what you're going to be learning in this tutorial. If you end up enjoying the video, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you have subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I almost forgot, I'm gonna create a second part to this video where I'm gonna show you how to add this hover card to a carousel. Now, if you don't wanna end up missing out on that video, you know what to do, subscribe, so you get that notification. Let's begin. Open up your Elementor editor. Go ahead and add a container. Click the plus sign. Select four columns. On your content width, set that to full width. Click on advanced. Padding, 100 from the top, 20 on each side, 100 from the bottom. Click on your first column. Go ahead and set the height, minimum height, to 380. Click on Advance. Click on Padding. Set everything to zero. Go to style. Let's add a background. Click classic. Add an image. Choose your image. Set your display size to cover. Go to your elements. Add a container. Now before we go ahead and add elements to our container, Go back to your main column, your first column. Go to Layout. Set your Justify Content to the end. So we have our inner column at the bottom. Go to Elements. Drag a heading. Give your heading a title. Card Headline is what I'm going to call mine. Click on Style. Change the color to white. Go back to elements. Drag and drop text editor. Click on style. Change the text color to white. Go back to elements. Drag and drop a button inside your inner column. Go to style. On color, let's set this to transparent. Radius should be 100. Border type, solid. Border width is going to be 2 pixels. And let's set this to white, just in case yours isn't. Click on your inner container. Go to advance. Let's add some padding to this. We're going to do 30 from the top. 20 on the right, 30 on the bottom, and 20 on the left. There we go. Go back to Style. Click on Background Overlay. Click on Gradient. Go ahead and choose your color. For this example, I'm going to choose this color here. You can go ahead and follow along. My second color, I'm going to choose a green color. Something more like this. Adjust your opacity. Something like this. It's fine. Go ahead and adjust the angle. There we go. That looks good there. Go to layout. Your wrap should be set to no wrap. That will be important for mobile. Set your justify content to start. Now click on your main container holding your columns. Go to advance. Custom CSS, paste the custom CSS I have provided in the description. Now let's add our classes. Click on your first column. Go to Advanced. Class name should be card dash wrapper. Click on your inner container inside that first column. Go into Advanced, 
class name should be card dash content. There we go. The hover effect is working, but we have a problem with our text and our bun still showing. So we just need to go ahead and set this to an overflow of hidden so we don't see this part under it. Click on your column. Make sure, click on it here. Go into layout, additional options, overflow, hidden. There we go. You can see now it's working good. Before we duplicate this, I want to go ahead and optimize this for tablet and mobile. Click on the card heading, go into typography on your size. Let's do the little pencil icon. I have this custom. We're going to do a clamp. Some brackets, oval shaped brackets there. We're going to do some 25 pixels to 2 VH, which is 2% of the V per width. Then we're going to do 30 pixels. Perfect. Now go into tablet mode. Click on your first column. There we go. Make sure that's selected. Set your width to a percentage. And set this to 48. That is very important. Now, go into mobile. Click on your card headline. Adjust your size accordingly. Set this back to pixels. We're going to be doing size of uh, we can do rem just to adjust a little better that will be good 1.3 perfect click on tablet click on your main container make sure this is set to wrap perfect go back to desktop now duplicate your first column. So we're going to duplicate this here. And we want to have four of them. And then what we're going to do is just go ahead and delete that are empty. Let's give this a gap. Click on your main container. Make sure it's checked here. Set this to 20. So we have column spacing is the most important one. So that's 20. Now that we can see here, if we go to tablet, it's optimized perfectly. If we go into mobile, it's mobile optimized as well. Now, let me go over the CSS here quickly. Click on your container, go back to advance, and custom CSS. Okay. So what's going on under the hood here? For the first one, we have a selector and we're targeting a card content, which is holding all of our heading, our text editor and our button. We have this height of 56. The reason why we have to have a set of height 56 is for our animation to work here. We can just remove this and it won't work properly as you can see there. And then we have a margin bottom. So that's so then we can move that's so then we can move our card content all the way down. You can see if I adjust this to one, it'll go up again. And then we have a transition, so it basically animates all of this when we hover. And then we have a selector card wrapper. Whenever we hover our card wrapper, which is our column here, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the styles on our card content. We're going to set the margin to zero and the height to 100, which is going to expand all of this here. And then we have a selector of card content of E dash CON, which is container dash inner. And we have a transition all. The reason we have this is because whenever we hover over our card wrapper, which is our main column there, we're targeting our E dash CON dash inner. And we're setting the justify content end. The reason we have this is if we remove this, 
our content's going to be at the top here. So that's why we need this class here, this style. So moving on here. So what this fade in does is on our selector card wrapper, if we are not hovered over our card wrapper, so basically if we hover out, we want this to activate. And we specifically target our card content, which is the content inside this inner container. And we have an animation of fade in of 1.5 ease forwards. So basically forwards means we don't want it to go back to its original state. We want it to go from uh, capacity zero to be visible and stay at that state. And we have it set to ease. And the reason why I did it like this is mainly because if I were to just not have something like this, you see how clunky it looks? So it looks like it jumps down. So there, there's a reason why I did it like this. So then it doesn't look clunky when it, when it drops like that. And I think that's what makes it a really cool effect. But I know you guys have probably seen many hover cards and sometimes it can be very clunky and they just don't flow properly. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I am going to have a new video coming out on how to create a carousel and adding a card hover effect to that. It's going to be pretty cool. So hopefully you guys watch that video. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And as always, thanks for watching.